The UN is urgently calling for coordinated international aid efforts in Afghanistan where millions face dire humanitarian challenges including widespread poverty and food insecurity. With the 2024 Afghanistan Humanitarian Response Plan only 30% funded, the crisis is poised to worsen without increased support. Concerns over human rights violations under the Taliban, particularly affecting women and marginalized groups, have led to a significant decline in aid. A report. The humanitarian landscape in Afghanistan is marked by widespread poverty, food insecurity and lack of access to essential services such as healthcare and education. Many families are struggling to meet their basic needs with reports indicating that millions are on the brink of famine. Moreover, the restricted international engagement has led to a lack of oversight and coordination in humanitarian efforts, further complicating the delivery of aid. UN officials have therefore called for a renewed commitment from the international community to support humanitarian programs in Afghanistan, stressing that without adequate funding and cooperation, the crisis will deepen, potentially leading to widespread suffering and instability. I'm greatly concerned that 2024 Afghanistan Humanitarian Response Plan is only 30% funded with around $900 million received of the $3 billion required. The world's limited engagement with Afghanistan is primarily driven by concerns over human rights violations and the treatment of women under the current regime. This reluctance has resulted in a significant decline in aid reaching those in need. As international support diminishes, Many humanitarian organizations struggle to provide essential services, worsening the already critical situation for millions of Afghans. Recently, Slovenia's Minister of Foreign and European Affairs chaired a Security Council debate in New York that focused on the deteriorating situation for women and girls in Afghanistan. In a joint press statement, she emphasized that the systematic and comprehensive nature of the restrictions on the rights of women and girls may constitute gender persecution and must stop immediately. Afghan women play an indispensable role in ensuring the prospect for a peaceful, stable, prosperous and inclusive Afghanistan, including the country's long-term development. However, since their takeover, the Taliban adopted numerous measures targeting women and girls and severely restricting their full, equal, meaningful and safe participation in all spheres of economic, cultural, social, political and public life. We are counting more than 1,100 days of continued repression and human rights abuses against women and girls across the country. The Taliban's unwillingness to engage with the international community has resulted in widespread and systematic human rights violations, particularly against women and marginalized groups. Their refusal to listen to global concerns and adhere to basic human rights standards has led to increased oppression within Afghanistan. This disregard for international norms has severe consequences for the Afghan population who are already suffering from the impact of decades of conflict. Many people are cut off from access to essential services such as healthcare, education and economic opportunities. The ongoing human rights abuses contribute to a climate of fear and uncertainty, leaving millions vulnerable and marginalized.